forearm and hand surgery. When we're doing it with ultrasound guidance, we can place the ultrasound probe high in the axilla. And we can notice here that uh, the axillary artery is this structure. And the axillary veins can also be quite easily compressed with the ultrasound probe. So it's very important to make sure while we're doing this block, uh, there is a risk of inadvertent intravascular injection. So we always want to see the spread of local anesthetic. Even if we have a negative aspirate, it doesn't mean we can't be in the vessel. When we look at the anatomy in this region, we can see this is the humerus. This is the musculocutaneous. The musculocutaneous is the first uh, nerve uh, trunk that comes, uh, nerve branch that comes off the brachial plexus. So in the axilla, the most common nerve to miss is the musculocutaneous, and we can see here how this has moved aside. There's a lot of variation of the branches in the axilla, so each patient may have slightly different anatomical variations of where their nerves are. In this patient, you see the median nerve, the radial nerve, which is posterior, and the ulnar nerve, which is medial to the artery. But this is a block you may want to combine with nerve stimulation to identify all the branches for a successful block.